what we have is here they are saying that compute the capital charge for the market risk and here the aim is 41.5 okay so what they are saying is the market risk charge the market risk charge is for three thing it is one is f1 into var what is the var that you have plus f2 into the charge for unused portion of the var limit the var limit that you have not used you have allocated a maybe a higher var limit and your var is coming as to lower than that but since there are capital allocated for that so you have to be penalized for that and then there is a charge for exceeding the limit which is f3 which is again a factor so what we are saying is in terms of the formula the market risk charge will be f1 into the var okay plus f2 into what we are saying is max of limit minus var comma zero it, it will only be applicable when you have not cross the limit when your actual var is lower than the limit if it is higher than the limit then this term is going to be zero okay so what happens is there is a mutually exclusive case so if your var is greater than the limit okay then this is going to be zero but this is going to be positive however when your var is going to be with, with below the limit then this is going to be positive but this is going to be negative so this is the charge for exceeding the limit so which is given as f3 into max of var minus limit comma zero right so let us consider a scenario again the in the book they have given let's say suppose that the var limit is 500 this we can change from the drop down we'll see and they are saying that the factor for the var is 2 okay so 2 is a factor that is given for the var okay and if you are ex not exceeding please note that the penalty for not exceeding is very less because here like uh, there is a loss opportunity cost loss but the risk is not much so the penalty for that is very less however the penalty for exceeding is very high here it is given as 3 right so the factors are actually the penalty factors so one penalty is you are putting for the var okay you are saying over here that whatever the var you have computed okay please note that ideally or your economic capital should be more much more than the var right var is only even not even expected loss your economic capital should be much more than the expected loss so you are you are trying to come up with a charge that will be there for the uh your economic uh, uh for the market risk right so if you see in the first scenario what we are saying is the var limit is 500000 okay your market in the first scenario we are saying that the actual var actual var is actually 200000 if your actual var is 200000 the market risk charge will be 2 into 200 400000 plus the charge for unused portion which will be 0.15 into the excess so which will be 500 minus 200 300 into 0.15 45 so there is no because you have not exceeded the limit so your total capital market the market uh, risk charge is 445000 in case your actual var is 4200000 right right any 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 problem over here so what we are saying is this is your total now in the second scenario what we are saying is your actual var is equal to the var limit when your actual var and var limit is same it means that there is no unused portion there is no unused portion also there is no exceeded limit so what will happen is your second scenario where the actual var is equal to the var limit these two portion will become zero these two will become zero and you are only charged for the first part so which will be 500000 into 2 which is 100000 so both of these are zero okay right so exceeding limit will be zero when you are below the limit unused portion will be zero when you are above the limit so let's take the third scenario okay the third scenario what we are saying is okay you have a third scenario wherein you your var is 100000 so the var is 100000 it is exactly the same scenario okay but it just to highlight that what happens is if you are much below so this is going to be increasing okay then the fourth scenario i have taken is 600000 which is more than the var limit okay so 600000 the market risk charge is 
two times this 1.2 billion okay right and then uh, sorry 1.2 billion that because you are there is no unused portion so it is zero okay and the chance for exceeding the limit you have exceeded the limit so the chance for exceeding the limit is very high we see over here okay okay so what is, what, what we can take one case like where it is 400000 okay when it is 400000 versus 600000 400000 you are below the limit by 100000 here you are above the limit by 100000 here it is only 850 because the penalty for unused part is very less but penalty for excess part is very high see it is 20 times okay because the risk for exceeding the limit is more you should be penalized more for that so in the fourth scenario you are seeing that the economic capital is 1.5 billion okay now please note that this is ex facto that is ex post right because here we are saying that okay what is the charge but mostly the charge would be done the ex pre pre uh, uh, of this so you will have to have some expectation about the losses okay but this is a one trend and let's see over here if i make the var limit as only 100 okay see see what happens okay see earlier the var limit was 500 okay and in this 600000 let's focus on this part okay let's see this part let's see this part and this is 150000 when this is 500000 let me change to 100000 okay what has happened is the charge has increased because you are saying that your var will be limit is 100 and you are exceeding it you are exceeding it six times right or more by five times so your charge should be very high the charge for exceeding the limit should be very very high right so this is the penalty that you have for so the mark